CFA members respond to emergencies every day across our diverse region. The southwest of Victoria offers a constantly changing landscape with ever expanding regional centres, rural areas, industrial complexes, and a rapidly evolving timber industry. The communities in which CFA members contribute to present many challenges across our part of the state. These challenges bring opportunities to expand personal development and skill sets that will assist the CFA and individuals. People join CFA because they want to be there for their community. Training increases the capability of our volunteers and staff so that they are confident and skilled when responding to an emergency situation. But what needs to happen straight away, you turn up, you've got cars in the carport going. This is their chance to put all the things that they're learning into practice and, and it, it just helps them when they get to a job, what do you do? It's teaching them how to actually respond. What are the things you do when you first turn up to a job? How do I do a size up? How do I prioritise what I need to do? And it's, it's setting them up with a, a whole template of, of ideas as to how to respond to an incident. It is not only about fires. As well as grass, bush and structural fires, there are many other emergencies which CFA members are called out to. Motor vehicle accidents, rescues, hazardous material spills, and supporting other emergency services, such as the Vic SES, Forest Fire Management Victoria, Victoria Police and Ambulance Victoria. CFA offers flexible learning, both practical skills and theory-based training in your local brigade or group location, or at a CFA training campus. And the safety data sheet will bring out... The best training of all is actually going to the real thing. But the beauty about places like Penshurst, you can come in here and make decisions which may not be the right ones, maybe make a few mistakes and learn from it, and then take that back to the home brigade so they're able to turn out with more confidence, more skill. It's been uh, fantastic. It's, um, it's a really good opportunity for our brigade to um, get down and do some live fire training. Uh, it's not often that we get to do this sort of stuff, so when we get the opportunity, we sort of got to jump on it. So just, you don't, need to, you don't need to be any closer, just put water yeah, It's pretty incredible, some of the, it's very lifelike, I'd say, just the different setups there. It may not be like a real setting, but it does get you for sort of worst case scenarios, which is really good. The main thing for safety today is going to be going into smoke. Incident management team training is also available, which enables members to undertake roles in incident control centres, staging areas, aircraft operations, working alongside the media and community liaison. Our online learning hub enables training in the comfort of your own home or local CFA location. Training can be a mixture of these tasks. Members gain skills and knowledge for free, not only for responding to emergencies, but for their work and personal life, such as first aid training, computer skills, leadership and advanced driving skills, including both on-road and off-road. I'd say do it. Get in there, have a shot. It's courses that are unlike any other. The guys in Southwest Training are, are brilliant, they're professional and they've got a lot of skills behind them and a lot of knowledge that they bring to the table. And yeah, the training I've done, I will keep with me for the rest of my life. And yeah, I'll never forget it. They've been brilliant. If you are interested in extending your abilities and being part of a great learning experience, contact your brigade or group training officer to discuss how we can support your journey to building knowledge and skills.